This video is Human Development and Diversity for IB Geography on the effects of global interactions on cultural diversity in different places. So the subtopics are the diffusion of cultural traits and cultural, cultural imperialism, localization of branded commodities and cultural hybridity, and then cultural landscape changes in built environments in the built environment. Okay, so cultural diffusion is the spread of cultural ideas from the place of origin to other regions or groups of nations. It is increased due to new technologies such as the internet and satellite communications, the increased speed of transport and communications, interactions of economies and cultural, um, I think that meant to be cultures, growth of international migration and the global financial market. These, all these different factors have changed everyday lives in terms of uh, allowing the process of cultural diffusion to occur um, and then cultural imperialism is the practice of pr promoting the culture values or language of one nation in another um, maybe less powerful area so this has resulted mainly from economic forces such as the USA capturing markets for its commodities and thus gaining influence over and control over pop the pop popular culture of other countries Language, so English is becoming the world language and it's kind of known as the world language. Um, it is used in many fields such as the internet. Um, and some people consider this possibly unjust because um, there's not, like a lot of people kind of view it as there's not a real reason why it should be English specifically and no other languages can be like why there has to be a main language essentially um but yeah and then the media so around 20 to 30 large tncs dominate the global entertainment and media industries such as disney and the bbc okay and then we have globalization so this is the adapt adaptation of a product or service to the locality or culture for which it is marketed so from this diagram here we see that um mcdonald's for example has all these different um kind of um, products which are marketed towards specific cultures and cuisines and you can see that with a lot of different brands and for example Ikea's catalogs um, they make millions and millions hundreds of millions of copies however they diversify their copies according to the culture in which they're being um, kind of provided to then we have cultural hybridity so this is the mixing of cultures and the emergence of new unique cultures with elements stemming from the foundational cultures so examples are spanglish which is merging of the spanish and english language um, like when speaking so in the states near the u.s mexico bo border some tv and radio programs use code switching which is like this idea of like switching between english and spanish um, another example is Tex-Mex cuisine originating from the Rio Grande Valley in Texas, which had a large Mexican population. Um, so just this idea of like mixing cultures, which creates this like new hybrid culture. And now we have cultural landscape changes in the built environment. So homogenization, homogen, homogenization of landscapes is changing of buildings, shops and services to become increasingly similar or uniform. So the causes are improvements in communication technology and awareness of other cities, increased international migration, the spread of ideas and cultures, the time-space convergence, which allows faster interactions between places, desire of TNCs to reach new markets, improvement in standards of living and aspirations to be part of a global network of urban centers, globalization of economic activity, culture and political activity, and finally, attempts to create smart cities kind of built upon the same foundations.